for this middleweight matchup. Sonnen, three years the elder of the American hero. Everything else is virtually identical. And once again, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record, 11 wins, three losses. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 186 pounds. Fighting at a stretch in Pennsylvania, ladies and gentlemen, he is the former WEC light heavyweight champion, All-American And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Valley Tudo fighter, holding a professional record. 26 wins, 11 losses, one draw. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 185 and one half pounds. Fighting out of West Lynn, Oregon, Jail Sonnen! Now when the action begins, our referee in charge, Kerry Hatley. Kerry Hatley, our referee. Brian Stan. Chael Sonnen. All right, gentlemen, this is where all your hard work pays off. You ready? You ready? Let's go to war. Come on. And here we go. Looking for the big double early. And Chael Sonnen, that's that style. He wastes no time, gets right in your face, and makes it a dogfight. Nice knee to the body by Chael. Stan turns him around. As you mentioned, Stan has had some trouble with wrestlers, but he has worked diligently to round his game out, and he promises that he'll knock him out. Good right hook to the body by Stan. Powerful right punches. Just the fact that he stuffed that initial takedown is huge, Mike. That's going to give him some confidence. Another nice right hook to the ribs. Battling for that arm position is important in this clinch game, Joe. Absolutely. And Stan's got the kind of power that even these short shots will hurt you. I mean, he punished the body of Chris Lieben. And had a fight of the night with George Santiago in his last victory. Good knee to the body by Chael here. This is Chael's world. The, the world of Greco-Roman, the dirty boxing, the, the, the clinch up against the cage. That's his world. He's a grinder, man. He wears you out like no other in this position. He is very much like the Hall of Famer Randy Couture, who he trained with forever. Yes, very similar, and he's taken down. Right into side control. Yeah. He likes to beat up his opponents and demoralize them. And Chael Sonnen, even though you don't see him, he has submissions. You know, I've seen him train submissions. He's a very skilled in jiu-jitsu. You just rarely see him use it. He prefers the grounded pound route. He's in control here, Joe, early in the fight. Sonnen likes the approach that put Mark the Hammer Coleman in the UFC Hall of Fame. Good old-fashioned wrestling 101 and some ground and pound. And Two minutes looking, in. Looking to mount. You know, Brian tried to roll over, but Chael pinned him right back down. Almost and went got for, it. Went for a mount, but yep. now he's stuck in the guard here. So good adjustment. Here by Brian Stan. And one of the things that I said that I'm sure Stan was working on is his submissions off the bottom, not just getting up. Look at this. Brilliant job of taking the back. And Stan sat out. Very nicely done by Brian Stan. Good defense. Spins. Oh, but Chael followed him the entire way. Full back control. Not good for the All-American. And again, Chael Sonnen, though we rarely see it, can finish. The most difficult part of this matchup was the fact that Chael Sonnen could not utilize his great wit against a true American hero in Brian Stan. Well, he respected him, and so there was no trash talking. There was, I mean, the, the closest thing was him saying that he's going to get a red, white, and blue ass whooping. Look at that brilliant mount. Excellent job there. Just a huge edge in grappling for Chael Sonnen, and he enjoys this edge over almost everyone in the division. There's no secret to what Sonnen wants, and that's a rematch with the Spider. Chael. And Stan said, hey, I'm fighting the number two guy in the world tonight. Nobody else wanted this fight with Chael Sonnen. Yeah, 
This is uh, it's definitely a dangerous fight for anybody in this division. Two on one here by Brian Stan. He's defending well. And he got slammed down to the cage right in front of us. Looks in again. Chael Sonnen just doing everything he wants right now. John Jones watching his teammate Brian Stan get bettered by the wrestler Chael Sonnen early. Full guard here. Now look for Brian Stan to try to attack off of his back. And Chael leaves an arm in there as he's throwing these wild punches. He, he, he gets so aggressive with his ground and pound that he has left limbs in there before. That's how he got caught by Paulo Filio. That's how he got caught by Jeremy Horn. That's also how he got caught in the title losing effort against Anderson Silva. Guillotine attempt yep. here. Nope. But he's in full guard. It's going to be really hard to pull that off. Stan doing a good job here trying to control. A possible finish by Sonnen here in the first, under 40 seconds Look now. at the right arm, look at the right arm, excuse me, the right arm of Brian Stan as he's holding on to the left arm of Chael okay. Sonnen. What he's trying to do is sneak that knee up and over to get into a triangle position. He does have submissions off his back. And look, generally elbow. he's able to get back up. Oh, big Sonnen really teeing Sonnen. up here early. Good elbow again by Chael Sonnen. Huge first round in his first fight back in 14 months. All Chael Sonnen in the first five minutes. See if Stan can keep it standing here in the second, round two. Quickly coming out to the center of the octagon and again with a big takedown, Chael Sonnen. Wrestling 101, embrace the grind. He gives you no space. He gives you, this is exactly what he did to, to Anderson Silva in the title fight. He just jumps right on you. Yep, five times. Beginning of every round, even in the fifth when he got caught by the triangle. Nice punch to the body, too, by Chael. Stepping over now in half guard. The left knee of Brian Stan is keeping Chael from really getting all of his weight pressed down on Brian Stan's midsection. That's the only thing defending him right now. Joe, John Bartis, a member of the Wrestling Hall of Fame, is Brian Stan's coach. Ironically, he's also the mentor of Chael Sonnen. Look how Chael Sonnen brilliantly passed from one side to the other and moved right into side control by passing that left leg. He knew that Brian Stan likes to defend on that side with the left leg. So he pushed one way and then hopped over. That's some expert grappling right there. Now also, look how he's hooking the left leg. That's going to allow him to mount. See how he did that? When he was hooking Brian Stan's leg, he was pinning it back, just opening up the door for this full mount. And it's early. A lot of time for Chael Sonnen to work. Stan knows he's got to control the posture of Sonnen. He's getting beat up. He's getting outclassed, Mike. Yep. That's what it is. It doesn't mean he can't win this fight, but he's not going to win this fight fighting Chael Sonnen's fight. And that's what he's got right now. Chael's now smothering him. He's not letting him breathe. He's pressing him down, pushing his hips down on the abdomen, and pushing his chest down on Brian Stan's face. Not all, giving him any room for air. An All-American hero against an All-American wrestler. And Brian Stan is trying to hip escape. Note how he got his right leg over the ankle of Chael Sonnen, but not enough. Trying to push up. Now he did. He hip escaped. Out. And he got back to that same position. See how he likes to defend with his left knee? He likes to push down in that half guard with the left knee in position. And that's what Chael Sonnen realized, and that's how he stepped over and bypass that. Full guard now. Sonnen just keeps such a grinding pace, though. Well, you know what? If I was Brian Stan, I'd be throwing up some submissions now. Now, see? He's holding on to the right arm of Chael Sonnen. He's trying to sneak that knee up. There he is. He's trying to sneak it up. He's trying to hold on to it. Oh, what are you doing, ref? They're working, man. Big, deep breaths from Brian Stan. Let's see how oh, long it's right hand by Stan! Sonnen came in, Stan fired hard. Good job by Stan. Right back up. He's got to create space, though, Mike. He can't let Chael close the distance like this. Tell you one thing, the layoff has not affected Chael Sonnen if for no other reason than to be positive. Slam right into side control. Right into side control with knees to the body. And Brian had to be careful trying to brace himself with the arm coming down. Phil Davis.
Davis did a good job at 205 using his wrestling skills against Stan. Brian he has Stan, since gone 3-0 at 85. This is a bad spot right now. Chael decides to keep driving that left knee into the body. Brian Stan's not going to be able to do anything about it. He's going for an arm triangle on the opposite side. He steps over. He's in position. He's going to finish it off. finish this fight right here. He's going to finish it. Sonnen looking for the victory. Sonnen might go out. He might go out. He's defending the correct way. He's got his hand over his ear. It's called answering the phone. That's how you hold it. He can't take it. Chael Sonnen with the victory, a triumphant return. Absolutely brilliant performance by Chael Sonnen. And here you see Chael, he secures the arm triangle from the opposite side. And once he has it in place, slides his left knee up and over, gets into the proper position and then flattens out. And even though Brian Stan is defending the right way, it doesn't matter. Chael Sonnen squeezes it so strong. And here he gets the tap. Fourth career win by submission. Here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Kerry Hadley's called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 51 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm triangle, Chael Sonnen! Welcome back to Toyota Center, Houston, Texas. Sold out for UFC 136, Edgar versus Maynard 3. Two electric competitors. All